Ever wondered how to effortlessly create engaging AI-driven news videos that go viral on YouTube? Today I will show you exactly how to automate the entire process using N810, Google Gemini, Open Router, and Fall AI. No coding skills required. I will also show you a quick example video so you can see exactly what kind of content we are going to create. AI-related news content is booming, attracting thousands, sometimes millions of views daily. Imagine automatically generating engaging high quality news videos by simply setting up your workflow once, then letting AI do all the hard work. Here is exactly how this powerful workflow operates. Every day the workflow automatically grabs trending AI news articles directly from Google News, Google Gemini and ChatGPT summarized and structured content creating compelling video scripts. A realistic AI voiceover is generated using OpenAI's advanced text-to-speech technology. Using the Flux AI model, visually stunning images are created automatically, perfectly matching your script. These visuals, combined with professional produced background music and accurate captions, result in a polished and captivating news video. All your videos and metadata are conveniently organized and updated in a Google spreadsheet, tracking video titles, URLs, posting status and more. And the best part, with just one click, this workflow uploads your ready to publish video directly to YouTube and sends you instant notifications via Telegram. You don't need any technical expertise to do this. And it then is a no code automation platform. If you can drag and drop, you're ready to start automating viral content today. If you are new here, I'm here to help you stay ahead by mastering powerful automations and leveraging AI tools. Check the description below. I have included the workflow template so you can begin creating amazing videos immediately. Now let's dive into each step of this workflow together and I will show you exactly how simple it is to get started. For this workflow you are going to need a couple of APIs. You are going to need OpenAI API, an Open Router API, uh, Google Sheets, Google Bucket, Google Drive, YouTube API, Fall AI for the images, and eventually you are going to need uh, API from semautomation.work for the video rendering. On semautomation.work you can grab your API key in the dashboard. If you go to create video knowledge base, eventually you will find all these guides how to create your API key for all the different APIs that are needed for this workflow. There's the Google storage bucket, the Google Sheets, the YouTube setup, all the links will be in the description below and, and the Telegram setup. Let's start with the workflow. We will start with a scheduled trigger. Automatically triggers the workflow daily to create a new AI news video. We are using SERP API to collect recent AI news articles from the past 24 hours. This is how to set it up. With SERP API, go to API keys. Grab your API key and you will get a hundred searches a month for free. This is the output, all the news articles. We are going to extract the articles and clean and grab one article to proceed with. Then we're going to the video category and we will grab the title of the article. We will enter our bucket name and we will enter the semi automation API key. Then we will grab the URL from the SERP API selected news. After that, we will go and grab the HTML from the page. We will grab the HTML and convert it to Markdown with this node. Then we will feed the Markdown to the AI agent that will extract the content and analyze the markdown content. We are using the open router model, Flash Gemini Flash 2.0. If the HTML or get website content failed, then we will have an HTTP request as a backup to grab the content from the URL and feed it to the AI agent. In part two, we're going to create a voiceover. We're going to clean the markdown that we have selected as a news item. We're going to feed the markdown text to this AI agent and this agent will write, write a script, a voiceover script for this news article. We will clean the generated voiceover and we will feed it to OpenAI. OpenAI just released new voice agents and audio models. So we are currently testing 
those. And in this flow, we've selected GPT-40 mini text-to-speech model. And this is the output. Time for your daily AI news update. And today's big story. With the updated voices from OpenAI, you can even add uh, speed or uh, emotions to the voiceover. When uh, the voice is well, done, huh? we are going to uh, wait for five seconds. Then we are going to save it in our bucket. Uh, we are going to map with a public link so we can get the voice URL. Then we're going to download the audio and we are going to transcribe the audio with OpenAI. There is a different, uh, there is a new model to do this, but I think Whisper uh, one is uh, perfectly capable of doing this. Part three is all about creating the images. First of all, we're going to create a list of image text. Uh, these 10 scenes, we uh, will going to need to create 10 images for this video. We are going to split out the generated uh, image list. Then we are going to add unique prompts to the images. You can see those over here. Then we're going to clean and split out the image prompts. And then we are going to generate the image prompts with this AI model. You can see the prompt. We're using Gemini for this. And we are going to clean the image prompts. And then we are going to send them to full AI. We're using again the LoRa from Hugging Face and we're making shorts. We're going to wait for one minute and then we're going to check if the images are generated. And we are going to preview the images. Those are some beautiful images for this video. Feels about Donald Trump. Nice. All right. Uh, then we're going to wait for five seconds and we are going to save the images to our bucket. After that, we are going to select one image and we are going to create uh, an image ID for how much images there are in this video. We are going to combine the transcribed co content into captions for the video. We are going to get random music from our uh, bucket. And we are going to select one random song. We're going to map the music. And then we are going to generate the JSON input for the API. This is it. This is better to show. The API will receive a type image video, a background URL, a list of images. There are those images. Then the voice over and the captions over here. Then we are going to make a post request to the simautomation.work API. These are all the settings we can adjust. So we can create long form content. We can adjust the background volume. We can adjust the voiceover volume. We can change the font size. We can change the font and the color of the font. We can change the stroke color, the stroke width and we can disable the captions. We are going to wait for one minute and we're going to get the progress and the status is complete so we can continue. We're going to grab the video URL. We're going to clean the transcript because we're going to feed the transcript to another HTTP request uh, that's going to write the description for the YouTube video. That's with this prompt. And this is the output. Then we're going to feed the description to this AI HTTP request to get a title for the video. Then we are going to append the video to our Google Sheets. Uh, when you create the Google Sheet, you will have to uh, create these headers, video title, video URL, post status, post time, and caption. You can create issues as well, but it won't be necessary because this flow will run every day without any issues. We are going to the final part. We are going to read the sheet. Every video that has the status of pending, that's going to be grabbed. So when you have run the flow for a couple of times and you have uh, ran into some errors, and you will get a list of 
two or three items over here, the upload to YouTube won't work because you only can upload one video at a time. So you have to delete all the pending status from the sheet and try again. In our case, we have just one and this is the video we're going to upload to YouTube. We're going to download the video. Let's see. Time for your daily. Nice. And today's big story. And we are going to upload it to YouTube. So you have to select the region, the category, and put in data. Test the upload ID. We're going to update the status of the Google Sheets. So we changed it to post it. The video is posted. And eventually we are going to send a message to Telegram that the video is done and the video is posted on YouTube. Thanks all for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments which AI topic you would love to see covered next. See you in the next video. Welcome. Time for your daily AI news update. And today's big story, the Trump administration's evolving AI strategy. First up, President Trump's moves to reshape AI development in the US, starting with the revocation of a key Biden-era executive order. This signifies a shift towards a potentially less regulated environment, starting with Apple's massive $500 billion investment in the US, including a new Texas facility dedicated to AI server construction. While seemingly independent, this move underscores the growing importance of domestic AI infrastructure under the current administration. Meanwhile, Vice President Vance is championing US AI dominance on the global stage, directly addressing competition from China's emerging AI models. But the administration's stance isn't without controversy, particularly regarding regulation and AI's role in government efficiency initiatives led by Elon Musk. The real question? Whether the US can maintain its lead in the rapidly accelerating AI race and what ethical considerations will shape its deployment. Thank you.